Hi folks, we're going to try this again. My uh, attention dis my uh, attention uh, um, deficiency disorder here, ADD, is really acting up today. What I really want to do is put together a video on the uh, on that um, generator, and I'm going to do that now. So it's 2:30, the 10th, almost 50 degrees here in the beautiful Hudson Valley, and let's talk about this generator. I bought this at a flea market this spring and I paid it was under a hundred bucks 90 bucks 80 bucks 85 bucks 75 bucks I don't know just for a round number let's call it a hundred dollar bill I knew when I bought it it didn't have any compression so I looked it over I mean very nice generator I mean looked just about brand new but once again, no compression. It's a, um, I don't know if you guys, how well you can see the serial number and all that. It's a Troy built, obviously. Um, it's a, uh, what I'm doing is looking for a day code. I'm not seeing one. So there's not a day code there. Here's what the uh, front of it looks like. So that gives you some engine information. A little more information on this side. Build date six. Yeah. Can you guys see that? I don't know if to get the focus in. So anyway, it says build date. You might have to take my word on it. There it is. Build date six oh nine. Once again, just looking at it, you can see, well, these leaves, I ended up there under my tenure. But you can see the fins in there. It all looks nice. And this is what I was thinking when I looked at it. Um, so, the next thing I did, I unscrewed the gas cap. Give it a sniff. And the gas, even though it's been sitting here for months, still smells good. All nice and promising things. Looked at the exhaust, nice and clean. Um, then came the moment of truth, gave it a pull. And no compression. And you can hear that click sound. Not quite sure what it is. One can see the alternator is going around. Next thing I did, I checked the oil. Oh man, I'm becoming a wuss here. Uh, screwdriver. Next thing I did was I checked the oil. And I discovered it was a little low. And to be honest, looking a little brown in there. Once again, not a great thing. I mean, it's not horrible low, but it is low. So, where to go with this thing next? Oops, sorry about that. Well, let's say I'm into it for a hundred bucks. The next thing to do with it is to figure out where its compression went, what's wrong with it. So with that, I gotta start taking some things apart. Um, obviously, it does have its spark plug in. See, it's got a spark plug, it's got the wire on it and all that. Now, bought this generator, and before I start doing anything crazy, I want to see what its story is. Once I troubleshoot this one, the next one, I bought a sister to it. This one has compression. This guy up here has compression. Um, it's a little older, quite a little older. Um, I have to check some dates and so forth. That's a Coleman. So I figured worse comes to worse, I'll swap things around between the two of them and hopefully get one running generator. This one I spent a little more than 100 bucks for. I think I gave the guy 110 on this one. 
So between the two of them, I have $200 out. And if I manage to put them both together, you know, I have uh, a used generator that, what's a used generator worth? If it's in good shape, I don't know, 300 bucks. So did I get rich here? No. But everybody needs a hobby. Okay, folks, wasted another five minutes of your lives. Don't forget, live, love, have yourself a great day. We'll catch up with you on the next episode of The Horde. Tires down, handlebars up, track down, handlebars up. Bye.